All right, guys, so your boy just got back from an eight and a half hour drive. Literally, I came home, took a nap. Now we are here at the biggest collection opening of all time. Let me get you guys the stuff and let me tell you guys a backstory on how I ended up acquiring this collection. Before I get started, guys, I just wanna say, Happy Wednesday! Whoa! That's all I wanted to say. Let's get started with the collection real quick. Give me a second. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. No matter how hard you think ah. it is, and keep moving ah. forward. Ah. That's how winning is done. Ah. Oh, I'm running out of breath. Oh, because it's, it's heavy. It's it's really the stuff I just carried, you guys saw. It's pretty heavy. But anyways, these two brothers, his name is Hip and Fee. They've been collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! for the past two decades. Uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. They quit the game on and off and they recently found their 18 year old collection in their closet and they contacted me and they're like, Sam, you need to come here and see this now. They would like to get rid of the whole thing and your boy literally drove four hours there, four hours back to acquire uh, this collection right here that I'm about to showcase you guys. So once I got there, I met uh, Fee. He's a very nice dude, man. He's been a long time subscriber of the channel and he tells me how much he loves the videos and he just wanted me to see his collection and he was super happy that I was able to drive there to see and acquire his entire collection. And he was able to give me a really great deal for all his cards. You know, since I'm actually going super duper deep into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I was really happy that I was able to acquire uh, this thing and able to showcase all you guys on the channel. So Fee and Hip, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I had so much fun driving over there and back, even though it was a long drive, I was super duper happy uh, on the way back because of what we're able to showcase in today's video. So guys, you know, if you have any old school collection, man, just cherish it, because Yu-Gi-Oh! is such a beautiful game, man. I love this game so much. And being able to just share our passion with each other, like how Hip and Fee showcase me their collection and their entire, literally, life in their collection, that makes me super happy, man, because I, I, I wanna be able to do the same thing once I get older, probably when I get kids, pass these down to my kids. I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. And I taught you everything I know. Let's see the very first binder that we have right here. Let's see what we got. So the first binder I believe is like the battle pack binder. I don't think there's anything that expensive uh, in the first binder, but let's just skim through the binder to see what we got right here. So this is the very first binder, pretty cool. I like that he kept every single thing organized by the code. So, you know, you got a four, five, six, BP01 EN006, and obviously he's trying to fill up the entire uh, binder right here, which is really, really cool. So I'm gonna just skim through this. Look at that. Battle Pack 01, Obelisk Tormentor. I don't know if these cards are worth anything. I'm not really good uh, with card prices, but you know, we got Regeki in here, uh, which is also pretty cool as well. Sorry for the glare, but uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, BP01, Pot of Greed. These are just Battle Pack cards. Uh, which is pretty cool. Judgment, Paul Duality, Skill Drain right here. Some pretty awesome gold cards, gold staple cards, uh, which is really, really cool. And seeing these cards are very nostalgic, of course. They're not worth anything, guys, trust me. Uh, you know, they might not, they, they, they might not be the most value, but I just like the fact that, you know, he organized these cards really, really well. And guys, trust me, this is literally just the beginning on what you guys are about to witness. So I'll show you guys all the binders that I got. Like I said, this is like a collection haul for you guys to enjoy. But here we go, I'm just skimming through this to see on what are the, some of the cards that are in here. Like I said, this is the very first time seeing this. Xeron Universe for my GOAT deck. You know, these are all pretty cool gold cards in my opinion. Cyber Dragon right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this, this chunk of binder right here. All battle, battle pack cards, all battle pack ones. You try to collect every single thing. Uh, which is pretty cool. Giant Soldier, Stone Gill, Source, Morphing Jar. Pretty cool to see this card. Um, Magura the Destructor right here. Uh, Night Assailant. Some pretty awesome old school cards that we're able to see here uh, in this binder, uh, which is nice, right? So that's pretty much it for the very first binder. Nothing too extravagant here, but he just kept his collection very, very clean. So that's what I like about him for sure. So uh, there you go. I'll put this to the side. This is the first binder that was been discovered. Okay, so this is the, the tin, the tin binder. Which is pretty neat. So you get all of the tin cards in here. Look at that. A bunch of polyduality. I remember these cards used to be super duper expensive, man. Wow. 
You guys see how organized he kept all the tin cards. Solemn judge, uh, solemn warnings right here. So that's the first tin. This is the second wave tin, EN02. The Hanzo tin, uh, which is really nice. Tour guides, I believe Max C goes here, right? He didn't have Max C's, but you know, a bunch of tour guides. Shock Masters, we got Levier, Rescue Rabbit. You guys all remember this format, right? Really fun time, huh? But there you go. So there you go, now we're on to the Dragon Ruler 10, CTL 10. So he kept all these cards really well organized, which was, which is what I really appreciated, right? So pretty cool cards, these cards are all mint condition. He said that he got these cards, sleeve them up and put it in the binder, that's it. That's all he did, right? Thunder Seahorse, Gear Gagan X, and that's pretty much for the 10 binder, man. Let's see what we have here. So, okay, so this is Bosch. Breakers of Shadow, Breakers of Shadow. So he has all the cards coded right here. Pretty cool, I like that. All the cards from Breaker of Shadows. Ariane, of course, the Spectral Sword. I remember this card, I, I, I remember this set being released, man. It was an awesome time. You got, uh, you know, Buster Blader, the Dragon Destructor Swordsman, Shurinui, uh, Shurinui Shogun Saga. Man, Shurinui, man, gives you nightmares each time. Shout out to Farfa, bro. There you go, all the cards. Most of these cards are bulk, but you know, you have hollows in here. You kept everything organized. Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Trap Church of Flesia, uh, which is really cool. What's next? We got Shiv, Shining Victories right here. So the Blue Eyes set. Goliath right here, More Factor right here, Leo, Ultimate Falcon, Unravering Bonds, Stardust, Divine Dragon, Cosmo, Dark Planet, pretty cool. So kept all the things organized. What's in the next one? The Dark Illusions right here. So Magician's Rod, of course, Magician of Dark Illusion. This is the Dark Magician set, which is absolutely beautiful. This is when Snow first came out, and this is when we this is when we were introduced to Block Dragon. So rest in peace, Block Dragon. Stay in the Shadow Realm, baby. So we got of course Dark Magical Circle right here. Uh pretty awesome. I'm I'm, I'm liking this man. So good. Oh, Magician's Navigation. I like navigation. Okay, which is really cool. All first edition cards. No, fortunately, no part of desires, and I, I haven't seen that. And next we're on to Invasion of uh, Venom. Invasion of Vengeance, right? Not Venom. And here we go. Starting Venom Fusion Dragon Secret Rare First Edition. Dark Requiem right here. Um, Dark Teller Knight, which is really, really good. Present card, pretty nice. He kept all of these things very well organized, which is what I appreciate. So that's pretty much it for this binder. Next binder right here. So this is the Ultra Pro binder, uh, which is pretty cool. Ooh, okay. So this is the CT13 tins. Wow, beautiful. So you guys see the uh, you know the God card page, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Got of course Blue Eyes White Dragon right here, really nice. And he kept everything organized from this collector tin binder. So we got Gold Sorgo right here. Wow. So M MP16. This is MP16, uh, which is really nice. So cool. I'm pretty sure he's missing some cards, but he tried to fill every single card, uh, you know, in their sections as much as possible. Uh, according to their code, right? Which is pretty nice. Brilliant Fusion, rest in peace. But yes, this is the CT binder. Uh, Painful Choice, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, uh, right here. Gamma Seal, 2016 10. I don't believe that was the best one, right? The best one was probably 2019, for sure. 2019 was the best 10, hands down. So that's pretty much it for the CT 10. Yeah, so he, oh wow, he, he even had all these two, man. Wow, that is crazy. Look, look how organized this is. I never even, wow, that's crazy. He had a checklist for every single card. Next uh, binder, don't know what this binder is. Okay, so let's see what this is. So this is the SDKS, so this is Structure Deck stuff. Structure Deck Kaiba, I believe this is the ABC Structure Deck, uh, which is, if, no, this is Structure This is structure Deck Kaiba? Yeah, this is Structure Deck Kaiba, right? Yeah, the ABC Structure Deck. Yes, this is the ABC Structure Deck, uh, which is pretty cool, and this, yes! The, uh, the, the Magnum Warriors, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. The Magnum Warrior, and obviously the OG, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. And Berserkion, card's absolutely broken. Uh, oh, Dark Magician Girl, my Bay over here. King's Knight, Queen's Knight. Of course, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Some Dark Magician stuff, which is really cool. Polymerization, Diffusion, Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, uh, which is pretty cool. So he had all these structure decks organized as well which is really, really impressive. I've never seen this card ever in my life before in this art. That is crazy. I never knew it came in like this. But there you go. That's for the Structure Deck, Kaiba and Yugi. 
Okay, let's go on to this miner. What's the next miner that we have? Let's see. Ooh. Or there's Order of Chaos. Wow. Ooh, number C39 Utopia Ray. Oh my goodness, ultimate rare. Let me see that. Guys, take a look at this. Wow. I was eating ultimate rare in so long, man, but that is crazy. This is the set of the Exactors Wind Up Rat. Oh, ho, ho. so much memories of Wind Up Rat, man. And all these cards are super minty fresh, bro. Wow. Armor Ninja. Riss, uh, Russ Miss. Dark Diviner. Oh my god. Oh, White Dragon Ninja. Oh my god. I know these cards aren't worth a lot, but seeing these cards back in the day was so beautiful, man. Look how beautiful White Dragon Ninja looks. First edition. Order of Chaos 2, man. Okay, what's next? Ooh, okay, we got uh, Galactic Overlord right here. So let's see. Also, Heratix were introduced in this, uh, in this set. Beautiful. Okay, Photon Papil Operative. Ooh, number 25, Force Focus. I remember this card. Long time no see, man. What else is in here? Ooh, Trial Tribulation. I know Card Card D is in this set. And of course, we got Fluff. Fluff. That's pretty much it. Nice. All right, so that's for that binder. Most of these are like bulk, bulk collections, but hey, trust me guys, it's gonna get better and better. Now what's in here? Okay, so we got this more, more structure decks, more starter decks. This is the 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 Sexo starter deck, I believe. Max, Mystical Sea Typhoon, Swords. Mystical Sea Typhoon, super rare, pretty cool. Mirror Force, super rare. Yeah, ooh, Coleco Claw Crow. Okay, here we go. I believe in this set, does it come in ultis? There's a bunch of gold stuff, here we go. Utopia, Utopia Ray, which is pretty cool. Now we got YS14, literally everything. Dark Hole, Super Rare, uh, not Super Rare, Ultra Rare. Uh, the reprint from the Turbo Packs. Uh, Stargazer Magician, Millennium Shield, Time Gazer Magician. Okay guys, here we go, a bunch of good staples, man. Man, I, I'm, I'm gonna forever have staples in my collection for sure because of this, but it's absolutely beautiful. So that's a bunch of binders that we have so far. I'm gonna, it's heavy. There's like a bunch of stuff in here. It's heavy, guys. It's very, very heavy. All right, guys, let's go on to this binder. What's in this binder right here? Ooh, so this is the Judge on the Light. Pretty cool. Okay. Wow, oh my god. Ooh, first edition Ghostware Star Eater? Oh my god, guys. I'm not taking it out. I'm not taking this out of the sleeve. Holy macaroni, Ghostware. Guys, this looks perfect. No cap, this looks perfect, guys. What do you guys think? That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. He kept everything in mint condition too, bro. Wow. Oh my gosh. Star Eater, put that there. And what's in here? What is this? Utopia Ray Victory, first edition, Judging of the Light. Ultimate Rares, these cards are beautiful. And these cards, this is number C104, Umbrella. Umbro Horror, Masquerade. First edition ultimate rares. I know they're not, probably not worth anything, but I know Star Eater is at least worth some. But that's beautiful. Rank of Magic Numeron Force, ultimate rare first. Really nice. Oh, Bujin Yamato first edition. I like that. Where's Online and Ooh, Cold Wing. Nice. Wow, this is y'all. I'm, I'm like a little kid again. <gasps> Armani's. I remember this card used to be broken, bro. Armani's. This card used to be insane. Master Key Beetle, Sasano Wo, Herald of Pure Light. Man, this is this is beautiful. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. Ooh, Captain Bear Man, Angel Zero XC's Encore. This is how you're beating VFD, guys. This is how you're beating VFD. I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you guys, I didn't tell you. But there we go. That's for that binder. Star Eater, Ghost Edition, pretty nice. Let's go out to this binder. This binder looks super thin. Okay, so this is the Wow, premium gold. He had, he had premium gold too, so we got Hope Harbinger. Oh, okay, we got Forerunner, Cosmo Farm Girl. Okay, the Burning Abyss stuff. Black Rose, Arcanite, Ghost Ogre. Okay, Ignis of Prominence, Dante. Orbors, Teleport. Pretty cool. Mass Change and Mass Change 2. The Monarch Stormforth. The, 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 the Ritual Spell. Oh, no, the, no, the Fusion Spell. And that's pretty much it. Hope Harbinger is obviously the main star here. So put that there. All right, guys. Let's go off to this binder right here. What's in here? 
Ooh, structure deck light swarms right here. This is gorgeous. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Light swarm structure decks. Man, guys, literally, I can play any structure deck now. Cause I literally have everything. Everything is well organized. You have three of everything. Is Jet Synchron banned? I'm pretty sure it's card's banned, right? <laughs> Jet Synchron. This is, of course, the structure deck. Uh, the Synchro structure deck. Man, but hey, Black Spreader is still alive. So hey, you can play that. You don't have to play Jet Synchron. But Jet Synchron was absolutely broken. Here we go. Excel, Excel Synchron, Stardust Warrior, Jet Warrior, Song Warning. Pretty cool, man. Oh, this is the Felgrand structure deck. I'm liking this. I remember this deck was being introduced. It was so, so good. Man, there you go. Rest in peace, rest in peace Eclipse Wyvern. Um, Ravine, of course, Ruins of Divine Lords. Trade-ins, Foolish Burial. Like I said, guys, breakthrough skill. I have staples for days. That's all I got to say. Your boy got staples for days, baby. And uh, last but not least, Wastes, Dragon Tokens, and Call of the Haunted. Right here, guys. So we're pretty much almost done our binder showcase. Oh, no, I lied. We have more. I lied. I play myself. God, he had Astro Pack one stuff. <gasps> Ultimate rare Sukiyomi. Boys and girls, don't tell me he has Astro Pack stuff all organized like that. Hold the Bree Dragon. No, I can't cancel it. But that is gorgeous. Oh my God, yo, Fee. Oh my God, this is insane. Guys, Kagibusha, you know I'm six samurai until I die, baby. You guys know. Mass change, hidden armory. He literally had everything. He had everything organized. Wow. And okay, that's it for the Astro Pack ones. Oh! Dragoons! Papilla Operative and Spell Book of Power? Yo, 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 chill, chill. This is darker. I, I believe this is a European print. But damn, yo. This is beautiful, man. Get everything organized. These look so good, bro. These literally look so good. Guys, let's, you know, let's appreciate this for a second. Let's appreciate this. How pretty these cards are, man. Dragoons especially is one of my favorites. Ultimate rares of all time, man. Mermail's like full rarity, max rarity. Probably one of the most beautiful decks ever. Accelerator, infantry. Wow, Gemini Spark Hunting Ground, Borox, wow, never seen this card ever in my life, but yo, this is looking nice. What's next, O3? Oh, no O3, but okay, it's okay. Well, we're on to the class, XO10, pretty cool. Vocal Source, nice. What's next? Oh, this is Raw Yellow Mega Pack, he kept those. New Space and Grandma, we got Necro Gardner, E-Hero stuff, guys, remember? Get your hero play mat today, guys. Become a hero, man. Get the link down below, boys and girls. Beautiful, man. Okay. Mudball, man. Hero. Oh, this looks so beautiful. H-E-R-O, man. That's beautiful. Polymerization in Super Poly. Malicious. D-Signal, no Destiny Draw. Wow, he kept everything. Crystal B stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Cyber Dragons, you know. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Wow. Wow, dark end, light end, future fusion, D prison macro, DD Crow, Liquary. Man, man, man. Gateway of the Six, please come back to three. Konami. Wow, that was a hefty, hefty binder. So guys, it's getting better, man. We got of course the Astro Pack stuff. Man, it's 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 getting nice, guys. Remember guys, grab some popcorn and enjoy the show, guys. Enjoy the ride. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we got number hunters. Okay, so we got Gimme Puppet right here. Uh, pretty cool. Lionheart. Coach Kit, yeah, gi 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 Giant Trainer. Master of Blades. Sky Palace. Cool, number hunters. Um, that's pretty much it. Ooh, he had Destiny Soldiers? Dystopia, I don't have this in Secret Rare. I actually don't have this. So I, I actually needed this, pretty cool. Um, wow. Wow. Dark Lord stuff. Okay, that's pretty much it for this binder. So this is DP10, Duelist Pack 10. 
Effect Veiler, wow, Rare Effect Veiler. Have you guys ever seen this? Have you guys ever seen Rare Effect Veiler before ever in your life? Man, this, this was so expensive back in the day. The Duelist Pack. Wow, wow. Holy moly, you get everything organized. Whoa, all the strategy cards too. Frozen, Fitzgerald. Wow. Oh, oh! <gasps> Ultimate Rare First Edition! This is mint. This is freaking sexy. This is beautifully mint. Holy moly. Wow, Odin Father of the Aesir. Ultimate Rare First Edition as well. That is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Take a look at that. God. Oh my god. This is just next level gorgeous. Next level gorgeous, man. All right, what's next? Vortex Whirlwind, nice. Storm Ragnarok, cool. What else? Inishi, right here. Shein, Shein Ultra Rare. I'm liking that. Wow, that is gorgeous, guys. Makes you super happy to see this. Wow, he took care. He, had, he took a lot of pride and care in his cards, man. Guys, this is getting crazy, man. Storm Ragnarok, ooh. Vanadis, the Nordic Ascendant. And Seeker Rare, really nice. Wow. Hand, we got Elder, we got Light and Darkness Dragon. What's next? This is the DEM1. What's DEM1? What's DEM1, guys? Upstart. DEM1, what's DEM1? I don't, I don't know what DEM1 is. Ooh, okay, Structured Egg Dragoonity. Nice. Pretty cool. Level five, level six. Wow. I'm super happy I saw that Shein, man. That just made my day. That was absolutely beautiful. I saw that Shein, baby. But that's it, guys. Crazy. This effect builder is actually crazy. This is actually intense. All right, guys, so we got more binders to, to go through. Wow. I believe this is the last binder before I showcase you guys the God Binder. Look right here. This is uh, BPO2. This is BPO2 stuff. So much quickly go through this. I don't think there's anything too crazy in BPO2, but just like a bunch of gold stuff, I believe. Our Guardian Angel Joan, man, I can't believe Konami didn't pick me to win that contest, but man, I would have loved to have that in Secret Rare. There you go. Man. What else do we got? Phantom Dragon, Plague Spreader. We have the Egyptian Gods in here. Let me see the Egyptian gods. I'd love to see some Egyptian gods in here. Is there Egyptian gods? BPO2. Card card D. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yes, guys. Here we go. Hobbles, the Tormentor, and the Wing Dragon Rod. This looks gorgeous. Guys, this looks super, super gorgeous. These are like a collector's dream. Well, for me, I don't know if they're worth anything, but. Man, I'm missing Slifer from now. Wow. That is nice. Pot of Greed. Monster Reborn. Grace with Charity. A bunch of gold stuff, guys. This this set is really good for drafting. Really, really good. There you guys have it, guys. Just some stuff that for you guys to see. A bunch of staples, like I said. Really awesome stuff. Wow. Just wow. Here we go. The binders are finished. Let's go on to the stuff that he had in here. So let's let's take a look at what's in here. All right, so this is a bunch of bulk. Oh, they're actually cards. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're cards. So let's let's take a look at this, what's in here. So this is DP10. DP10, okay, so this is BP01. Okay, what's in here? Jump, jump cards? Archfiend Commander. Blue eyes, white. Dragon! Is this worth something, guys? Let me know. I don't, Ebon Illusion. I don't have this as an ultra. Masquerade Blast. Hot Eyes Persona Dragon. Apprentice Illusion Magician. Gla Galaxy Eyes Bla uh, Cypher Blade Dragon. Trickstar Criminal Heart. Summon Sorceress. Rest in Peace. Shooting Riser Dragon. And Chaos Emperor Dragon. Envoy of the End. Oh my god, there's a Blue Eyes in here. Guys, how much is this Blue Eyes worth? How much is this card worth? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Holy moly. This is a nice Blue Eyes, guys. 
very nice blue eyes. There's a sleeves. What's in here? Gemini Pearl. There's BP01 stuff. Oh, so this is Abyss Rising. Gaga Ga Girl. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, this is Order of Chaos. All of Order of Chaos. This is um, Hidden Arsenal 7. This is Hidden Arsenal 7. Wow. Bunch of Hidden Arsenal stuff. Four monster binders. Let's see what's in these monster binders. Oh, Photon Shockwave. Okay. Cool. Just a bunch of Photon Shockwave cards. I believe these are just bulk cards. Right? These are just bulk cards. Yeah, these are just. Oh, one of Zen mains? Wow. Long time no see, man. Long time no see, Zen mains. I remember this card used to take over the format. Zen mains was broken. The card was absolutely broken. I believe it was like. $100 at one point. Okay. Ooh, okay. Cosmo Blazers, we got Bear, Shidori. Beautiful. Ultimate Rare, guys, take, yo, take a look at that Ultimate Rare, man. It's beautiful. First edition Ultimate Rare. Shark, Blade Armor Ninja. Wow. Holy moly. Bear, Ultra Rare. Here we go. Tiger King. Ooh. Number 92 Heart Earth Dragon. Ultra rare. What else is in here? Quick booster. Ooh, Bonfire Colossus, Madrat. Very nice secret rare. Crimson Blader, this card was insane. And that's pretty much it for the Fire Binder. It's fire. Cool, Cosmo Blazers. Wow! Harpy's Channeler, Mecha Phantom Beast, Hamstrat, Channeler Ultimate Rare First Edition. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, oh my god! Is this worth something, guys? Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Legacy. What's LTGY? Light of Lord Attack Young Galaxy. Right? Lord Attack Young Galaxy, right? I believe. Uh, Gauntlet Launcher. You know, the ultimate verse of the set. Beautiful. Handler, first edition. Ooh, we got, of course, Wind Rolls, the Elemental Lord. Okay, we got all the Dragon Rulers right here. Ooh, Cardinal. Hysteric Signs, Torrential Reborn. Gear Gear Gear, this card was broken. Totem Bird, Coyote, No More Arms, Destiny. Wow. Wow, so that's pretty much it for Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Let's go on to this blue binder, what's in here? So this is uh, Generation Force. Yeah, this is Generation Force. If you see Absolute Zero there, it's Generation Force for sure. Uh, so we get Leviathan, Terabyte, Surface. Yeah, this yeah, this is Gen Force. Ooh, Pain Painter, Sea Lancer, pretty cool. Mask of Vapor, Mask of Goka. Mass Change came here as common, which is pretty good. So that's pretty much it for these binders, Exo binders. All right, guys, so now he has a bunch of deck boxes. Let's see what's in the first deck box. So this is raw yellow mega pack. So this is a bunch of sleeves. Oh, Concellers, Hidden Arsenal 7. Nice, I remember this deck. Oh, Effect Builder, cool. This is Hidden Arsenal 7 again. Seraphonite. Wow, so, oh, Number Hunters, Labo Ignis. What's in here? So we got Destiny Soldiers. So this is, yeah, Destiny Soldier bulk, I believe. Hidden Arsenal 7, so Evil Swarm deck. Deep Prison, Compulse, Macro, Nightmare, and Bahamut. Nice. A lot of old school decks here, guys. What's in here? Luna Light? Damn. Rest in peace, Tiger, baby. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Tiger, man. What's in here? Blue Eyes? Okay. Blue Eyes? Okay, let's see what's in here. So, so we have Blue Eyes. This is from Structure Deck. B E. Wow! Wow, he had three alternatives. Beautiful, ultra rare, holy moly. This is nice. Two maxis. <laughs> Ancients. We got one legend. Sage. OG Sage. Oh, these aren't first editions. Well, once first edition. Made. We got a fight mailer. Return of the Dragon Lords. Trade in. It's consonants. Melody of the Awakening Dragons. Soul Charge. Look at that. Yeah, yo, he, 
Silver Charge is banned, man. That's crazy. So we got Blue Eye stuff. Ooh, Blue Eye Twin Burst Dragon, Azure Eyes. Blue Eye Spear Dragon, Crystal Wing First Head. Michael, Black Rose, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Holy moly. Beautiful. Full Armor, Tachyon, Heratic, Gimmick Puppet, Iggy on the Sea. And this is just a bunch of. Ooh, Ghost Holger, Regeki. Another Effect Veiler, Dark Hole, and Pot of Acquisitiveness. What's in the last one? Oh, I see Gem Knight Garnet in here. Oh man, he played Gem Knights? So two Garnets. Okay, what is this? ABCs. Oh, br brilliant ABCs. Buster Drake, Silver Gadget, C, Rhoda. Man, oh, he hasn't played in a long time, guys. Do you guys remember when Terraforming was at three? <laughs> Crazy things are about to happen, right? I don't even know what these are, man. Holy moly, let me see. Okay, um, Duelist Pack Kaiba? This is Duelist Pack Kaiba, right? Okay. Pretty cool. We got Duelist Pack Kaiba in here. We see an Ultimate Rare Pot of Greed on the screen. Okay, so what's in here? This is DP10 still. More bulks. What's what's in here? This is Photon Shockwave. Yeah, this is just a bunch of uh, Photon. Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Okay. Rainbow Dark Dragon, Cyber Dragon. Yeah, he had a lot of. This guy is crazy organized, bro. So he put everything in the binder according to their code, and everything actually just kept. Wow. Okay, you see that? Wow. E emergency call. I know this is worth something. That is crazy. Wow, hero. Guys, get your playmat today. Get your hero playmat today, guys. Next is this one. Don't even know what this one is. Let's see. Just leave some cards. L Whoa, Legendary Collection GX. Wow, I've never seen this card. So much of hero, Shining Phoenix and Forest or Secret Rare. Legendary Collection G Wow. These are beautiful, man. Wolf. Divine Neos, Rampart Blaster, Hero Ring, Phoenix Enforcer, Tempest. Wow, these are beautiful cards, man. Beautiful cards. What's in here? Whoa. This is definitely European print. Yeah, this is European print. This is definitely European. Burst Cinetrix. Wow. This Causal Blazer Bulk, Crimson Sunbird. <laughs> Pretty cool. Is this Number Hunters? Yes, this is Number Hunter bulk. So this is more Number Hunter stuff. In Arsenal 6. Wow. Lavals. Guys, if you ever want to make Lavals, I literally got Gus Raken. Whoa. Wow. And next, you got Storm of Ragnarok. I actually never even seen one of these before. How do you get one of these? Oh my god. Storm of Ragnarok. What's in here? Symphonic Warrior Basis. Tell me, tell me you have more Sheehan's in here, Fee. What, if, you, if you had more Sheehan's in here, no, honestly, those cards would have been sleeve. These are just a bunch of bulks. Oh my god, okay. The first thing in this box is Stor Ragnarok First Edition Booster Box. Open. Oh, Chaos Hunter. Wow, Storm. Kari Curry. Wow. That's pretty awesome. This is, uh, 2016 tin. Oh, Dark Necrofear pack. This is Legendary Collection 3 promo. Another one. Wow. Cool. Oh, so these are just Structure Deck, Legendary Collection, Legendary Dragon Decks number two. What's in here? I don't know. So this is Order of Chaos bulk. So these are. Wow, Force Focus. Radic Seal. These are Order of Chaos bulk and uh, and Galactic Overlord bulk. What else is in here? Okay, there's some sleeve cards in here. Let's look, take a look at these sleeve cards. This is Lord Attack Young Galaxy. All the rares. Wow, he even sleeved all the rares. And these are a bunch of Lord Attack Young Galaxy bulk. Okay, so. Oh, Galactic Overlord stuff. Okay, so let's see. Galactic Overlord rares, super rares. Let's. Air Niels? Whoa! Oh my god, we got Air Niels. Storm of Rag uh, uh, Strike of Niels. This isn't mid, bro. Imagine this was a, a ghost. 
A ghost first edition. So now we got this thing right here. What's in here? Okay, here we go. We got a bunch of stuff. Mini clear sleeves. Okay, so this is M this is a movie pack. Movie pack right here. Okay, pretty cool. We got a bunch of cubics. What's in these white sleeves? Destiny Draw, Dark Hole, Decider, Malicious. What's in here? This is, uh, what is this? Force of the Breaker Special Edition. Wow. Uh, he's really organized, guys. Rage Battle Ox. Oh, Dante! Dusty Dante, that's what I'm gonna call it. Cowboy. Oh, Arc Brave. Arc Brave Dragon. Upstart, the White Stone Legend. So this is the rest. SP13, this is literally the rest. Ooh, Miss Valley, Apex Avion. He's gonna hit an Arsenal 4. Hit an Arsenal 4, baby. If there's Trish in here, if there's Trish in here, hit an Arsenal 4. Trish. Hit an Arsenal 4. Chirac. Oh, Exterio. Nice. Okay, where's Trish? No Trish. Unfortunately, no Trish. This is more causal blazer bulk. This is just a bunch of uh, sleeves. This is uh, Bosch bulk. Oh, this is TDL bulk. What is this one? This is in, in of bulk, uh, which is pretty cool. And what's in here? MP16 bulk, I believe. Yes, MP16 bulk. He even sleeved the box. That's insane. All right, so that's pretty much it for the stuff on the smaller end, okay? He got the Legendary Collection too, Duelist Academy binder right here. There are no cards in here, by the way. There's no cards in here. He put all the Legendary cards out, but he still kept the packs. There are no cards in here, guys. Let you guys know, no cards in here, other than the promos. Now it gets better, all right, guys? We got a Legendary Collection. We got a legendary collection. Number one, he opened the seal, but he didn't open any of the packs. Look at this, look how old this is. These packs are all unopened. Look at that. They're all unopened. Unopened packs. We got LOB, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Feral Servant, these are all, yeah, they're unopened. Yep, they're all open packs. Wow. Dark Magician, Metal Raiders, English Edition, Blue Eyes, Spell Ruler, not Magic Ruler, but Spell Ruler. There you go. Guys, it gets crazier here, guys. So that's the Legendary Collection stuff. This is crazy. This is Master Collection, Volume 2, six booster packs, six full variant cards. Look at this, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! had some crazy stuff, bro. Holy moly, guys, get ready. Get ready, boys and girls. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is, look at this. Holy macaroni, it's super warped. So these are all sealed packs. You got Dark Crisis. Wow, Magician's Force. This is crazy. Uh, Pharaonic Guardian. Wow. Oh my God. I don't know if these are worth anything. But these cards are heavily war warped. I don't even want to touch them. Wow, they, they, Konami actually made velvet? <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah, so there you go. I, I, I don't, can I touch these cards or no? Whatever. Wow. God, whoa. Putting these cards back. Okay, wow. Evasion of Chaos. Okay, this is all beat up. Uh, Blowback Dragon. Look, blowback dragon. <laughs> oh, this is it, boys. MC2. How, how much is this? MC2. Black Lesser Soldier. Envoy of the Beginning. Put that there. Thedian, the Great Sphinx. Didn't know this card came as a secret rare. And that's beautiful. Got Invasion of Chaos. Literally unopened booster packs. 
Tri what, what, what pack is this? What, what, what pack is this? It's what? Complete eight cards? What, what pack is this? I don't even know. Ancient Sanctuary. But, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm keeping these sealed. I'm not, I'm, I'm not touching this. Yep, here we go. And here we have, guys, Master's Collection Volume 1. This is crazy. This is the gold binder, baby. All right, I'm shaking just looking at this. Ho, 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 ho. All right, guys, so we got Exodia, the Forbidden One. Okay, let me open this. Guys, remember, all these packs are still sealed, eh? Still sealed packs. These are all sealed. Unopened packs. All sealed. I don't get it. Wow, these guys, he kept it all sealed. Exodia, the Forbidden One. MC1. All warped. Look how warped these cards looked. Barrel Dragon. Shout out to Bandit Keith. Relinquished. I, I, I did not even know this card came in Secret Rare. Look how old these cards look, guys. Thousand Eyes Restrict, Dark Necrofear, Dark Ruler Hades. Hades. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna seal this ASAP. I don't wanna. I don't wanna play with these. I'm just gonna seal these. And this is Velvet Texture. Wow, this is way better than the stuff we have now. But this was gorgeous. Sealed, sealed, sealed. This is crazy. Oh, man, it's a magnet clip. Look how beautiful the, the, the cards look. Wow. Holy moly. This is gorgeous. All right, guys. Now, we're on to the crazy stuff, guys. The crazy stuff. All right, guys. This is what brought me here. This is what brought me here. All right. Yo, Strictly Seal, you're watching this video. Let me know how good these cards are, all right? But this is the first edition LOB set. It is not complete, unfortunately. But yeah, it's LOB, MRL, and MRD. Here we go. Oh, okay. So the story behind this is that what Fee and Hip told me is that they collected for over 18 years. They found this in their closet, the LOB one, with a bunch of bulk. Look, you guys see how old this is by all the debris that's in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is very, very dusty. Very disgusting. It's kind of making me have allergies right now. But it's a lot of dust here. But he's missing stuff, of course, Trihorn, Blue Eyes. Um, it's supposed to be in here, but it's also right. These cards are extremely mint, and he bought them and he put it right into the sleeve. Like, bought them, sleeve, done. Have a good day. So, he had it. So, first edition LOB stuff. Okay. Whew. Wow. Well, trial of Hell. I can't believe they actually included that there. Trial of Hell. But damn, look at that, guys. First edition, everything. Guys, if I am definitely gonna be grading this, I'm gonna grade this all. If I grade this when they get, and they all get tens, that'd be beautiful. But there you go, guys. This is the the gold mine right here. This is the beauty. This is what I drove four hours, eight hours total to get the old school LOB first edition collection. Man, I'm definitely gonna be trying to complete the set. Look at that, guys. You got dark hole right here. Oh my goodness, we got dark hole. Oh, there's a little bit of whitening on top. It's first edition Dark Hole. PSA 10. Oh man, it's a little bit damaged on the bottom. PSA 10 is definitely worth some money. We got Mystical Elf. Wow. Hope she's mint. Wow. Gorgeous. I'm not, I'm not gonna take them out of the sleeve. We'll keep them in the binder like this. Um, trap hole. First edition. LOB. These look really clean, guys. Really clean. Okay. Uh, Beaver Warrior. Carbonala Warrior. Witty Phantom. <sighs> wow, guys. A bunch of crazy stuff. Guys, I'm shaking just looking at this right here. For all first edition. Swords of Reading Light. Beautiful. This is not centered at all. You guys see that? Oh man. 
Centering is really bad on that. The edges look, the cards look clean, but you guys see the card is like been cut really badly. But there's a Swords First Edition. Um, and here we go, guys. Look at that. Right leg of the Forbidden One. Pot of Greed. This card PSA 10 is worth a lot. I don't know if it's worth PSA. If it's a PSA 10. Yeah, definitely not a PSA 10. It's not perfect at all. This is beautiful. First edition. Pot of Greed. And this is right leg of the Forbidden One. Wow. First edition right leg. And this is glossy. Glossy. Next we got left arm of the forbidden one. First edition. Absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous guys. Okay. So now on to the crazy stuff. Okay, Gate Guardian right here. You guys see Gate Guardian? Already a big deal, guys, to me. This is uh, MRD Metal Raiders. This Gate Guardian looks clean, bro. Super duper clean. Yeah, this looks super clean. Gate Guardian. Wow. Okay, we got Pharaoh Imp, Rock Ogre Grotto number one, Laura Moth, Harpy Lady, Saga and Thunder, and Kazajin. Super rare first. Wow, Jinzo 7, there's such a card like that? I never knew this card existed, Jinzo number 7. I never knew that card existed. Moth, Change of Heart first edition. Absolutely gorgeous. First Ed, man. It's clean, super clean. First edition, Jaden Hart, Baby Dragon, Black Land Dragon, Time Wizard. Ooh. Wow. It's crazy. Oh, that's a sleeve, right? Yeah, that's a sleeve. That's a sleeve. I see the dot there, that's a sleeve. That's a sleeve, okay. This is looks this looks perfect, man. Should I take it out? I don't even want to take it out, bro. Yeah, that was a sleeve. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not even gonna put my nose on this. That's beautiful. Time Wizard. Holy moldy. Catapult Twitter, we got Karibo right here. Let's take, let's take a look at Karibo. Shots to Yugi. Holy macaroni. Beautiful looking Karibo right here. Catapult Turtle. These cards are beautiful, guys. Horn of Heaven, Ultra Rare First. Here we guys have it, here we go. MRD, First Edition, Mirror Force. This looks absolutely perfect. Just literally perfect. Oh, there's a little whitening spot over there. MRD first edition Mirror Force. <sighs> crazy. Okay, this is the crazy stuff now. Now we got now we're moving on to MRL. We got two twin blue eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. This is double sleeve too. <laughs> oh my god. This is absolutely beautiful guys. This right here, another one. Absolutely spectacular. Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. Very nice. Spellbinding Circle, Black Pendant, Invader of the Throne, Mahavalo. Delinquent Duel, look at that. Relinquished first edition. First edition. First edition relinquished. Guys will appreciate. How mint these cards are. They've just been sitting in a binder for 18 years, guys. These packs and these cards are all from 2002. 
Imagine these cards just sitting in someone's closet for 18 years. This is just something else. This is just something else, man. Painful choice. Giant true nade. Wow. Most broken card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right here. Painful choice. And try and true nade. First edition. Super rare. From MRL. Not spell ruler. Magic ruler, baby. Toon World, Toon Mermaid. Beautiful. Let me show these guys. Toon Mermaid. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, they didn't censor her back in the day. It, oh man, you can see the whole, the, the whole, the, the whole, the whole thing. Holy, that's nice. Of course, we got Toon World, first edition. Okay, Molten Destruction, Messenger of Peace. And now we're on to PSV, and this is unfortunately not first edition. We got some stuff. Grave Robber, seven completed. Parasite, Parasite, Chain Destruction. Call the Haunted, Ultra Rare, not first, unfortunately. Uh, no Metal Cross Out, No Metal Extermination. Um, Harvey's Brother, he changed his card's name now. Uh, limited Removal. That was a nice restrict. Ultra Rare, Goblin Attack Force, not first, unfortunately. And Gear Free, the Iron Knight. Man, guys, this was super crazy, bro. Just seeing the LOB first editions is just crazy, guys. You guys all know that these are graded PSA 10s. The commons, they're worth like $100 each. Like the commons, they're like perfect, like $100 each, which is insane. Like these first edition cards are just ridiculous. I'm gonna keep these forever. I'm gonna honestly try to finish the whole collection. Like, let me try to get that blue eyes. Let me try to actually get the tri -horn. I'm actually gonna try to complete the, the, the collection. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I am going to do it. We're going to do it, boys. We're going to do it. But damn, that was beautiful. I'm definitely going to submit these cards uh, to PSA for sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens later on. But this is the holy girl binder that. This right here is also some bulk, which is insane. These are all LOB glossy packs, I believe. LOB commons. Wow, I don't want to smell them, but yeah, I don't want to showcase you guys like too much. I don't want to scratch the cards, but these cards are the real deal, guys. Look at this. Man, now these are just extras, LOB. Guys, remember, if you grade these at 10 each, they're going to be like $100 a piece. Trials of Hell. I can't believe Konami put Hell, hell in the Yu-Gi-Oh card. But that's crazy. Roof Trap. First edition, all LOB, guys. I, I, I don't want to showcase you guys this. I don't know why. I feel like I'm scratching the cards. <sighs> Tyone. But yeah, Beaver Warrior. Oh, we got a sleeve. Ooh. Wow. This is really old. Really old. So here is extras of MRD. Look at this. Guys, these get PSA 10s. That will be crazy, bro. But look, he has everything. The MRD comments. I don't. I, I don't want to touch these. The comments are ridiculous. Saggy the Dark Clown. All the comments. All right. So this is my special wooden box. Um, I didn't get this from them. I I got this from my friend Val. Val, if you're watching this video, shouts to you, Val. This is a very special box of mine. So out of all the things that I got uh, from this collection, this is probably the most prized thing. I ever got from Fee and Hip right here. So uh, originally they reached out to me, asked me to take these off their hands, okay? Look at this. <sighs> Guys, this is literally the holy grail of all holy grails. Okay? So they originally asked me to come four hours to pick these up off their hands. And this was crazy. Uh, the collection was just a bonus. They were like, yo, Sam, if you want these, you can take them. Um, you know, so we negotiated, uh, you know, in regards to those. But originally, I went all over there, eight hours drive total, to get these right here. This is the holy grail 
of the entire collection. Guys, this is super mint. Look how mint the structure deck Yugi is. Hold, this is first edition too. First edition, look. The holes aren't even punched out. It's not been opened. It's glued. This is insane. They had these, they had this in their closet for 18 years. They just had two sealed structure decks. Starter decks, Yugi and Kaiba in their house for 18 years. This is why I drove all over there. This is why I drove all the way over there is to get this right here. Guys, I don't know if I should be opening these right now. I probably will never open them, but these are the oldest things ever. I believe the structure decks, the starter decks came out before LOB. I'm not mistaken, but these were made in 2002, 100,000%. But yes, first edition, Starter Deck Yugi in first edition, Starter Deck Kaiba. And this is what I talked about, you guys. You guys all know, the collectors know how much these are worth. These are really, really sought after for. They're, they're gonna be in my house forever. Probably, probably gonna pass these on to my kids. Just looking at these just gives me goosebumps, man. Super duper mint. Imagine these cards get a graded 10. Like just right off the bat. Collectors, if you're watching this video, let me know what your thoughts what his collection is. Um, yeah, bro. Aside from the LOB stuff and, and and all the other stuff that I got, this is just like the best. Wow, I've never came across this ever in my entire life. Being able to see one sealed in front of my face right now, I, I'm just absolutely speechless. So yeah, guys, after 18 years, they're able to share their passion with me. I was able to take it out of their hands and thank you so much, Hip and Fee, for giving me the opportunity to come look at your collection and just to help you, you know, since you're quitting the game and trying to move on, uh, this this was such an experience for me to just take a look at your entire collection and just to go through back in time just to look at something like this Which is just Insane. All right guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up They'll be absolutely amazing. I'm probably gonna keep this in my collection forever Guys if you guys haven't gotten your hero play mat, make sure you guys get it to the end link down below at tx1.com And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Shout out to hip and and fee uh, And yeah, man, this is uh, this is the start of my collection journey guys for 100% I'll probably be PSA grading these cards. I'm gonna keep these decks sealed and We'll make a video and revisit this collection very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.